Are you planning to organize the task of your week? Then you may consider creating a weekly calendar. You can make the most of your week by using a weekly calendar. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VVA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Basher and today I'll demonstrate how to create a weekly calendar in Excel. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. This is a sample weekly calendar. In row 4, you will find the dates of the week and in row 5, you will find the corresponding days. Then in column B, the days are divided into multiple hours. This is the structure of the weekly calendar. You can use this calendar to plan your task. In this way, you can organize your day and finally, organize your entire week. In the first example, I will show you how to create a weekly calendar and record the data manually. Here I have the dates and the corresponding days. Now I will insert the time of the day. So go to cell B6. I will create the calendar from 6 a.m. So type the time 6 a.m. This is our starting time. Now to quickly fill all the time, let me use the autofill feature. And you can see the times are inserted. Our weekly calendar is ready to some extent. However, you can convert this to a table to give it a better look. For that reason, select the cells B5 to I23. Then you can convert this data range to a table in various ways. From the home tab, in the styles section, you can choose the option format as table. Alternatively, you can go to the insert tab. From the tables section, you can click on table or press Ctrl plus T to create the table. This opens the create table window and you can see my entire data set is selected and the option my table has headers is checked. Now click on OK to create the table. You can see the table is created. If you want to change the style of the table, then move to the table design contextual tab from the table styles. Click on this drop down icon. Here you will find different available styles for your table. You can choose any style according to your choice. In my case, from the light section, I'll choose table style light 21. And you can see the style is applied to this table. We are ready to insert our data. Let me fill this table with some sample data. To create the routine for Monday, select the cell C6 and type the routine accordingly. In this way, you can create a daily routine and finally create a weekly calendar. In this calendar, you need to record the task manually. However, if you have a name of the task in a list, then you can apply data validation to fill the data of your weekly calendar. Before showing that process, let me clear the weekly calendar first. Now I'll show you the process of the data validation. One thing I should mention here that I have the task listed in the to-do list worksheet. Here you will find the name of the task using this. I'll create a data validation option to quickly fill up my weekly calendar. So go to the worksheet of my weekly calendar. Now select the cells C6 to I23 where I will apply the data validation then move to the data tab from the data tools section click on data validation. This opens the data validation window. In the settings tab from the validation criteria in the allow field click on this drop down icon. Here you will find different available options based on which you can validate the data. As I have a list of data, so I will choose the list option. In the source field, I will insert my list. For that reason, click on the to do list worksheet and select the work list. Finally, click on OK to create the data validation. And you can see the data validation is created. A drop down icon has appeared. If you go to cell C6, and click on this drop down icon. Here you will find the name of the task. You can choose the task from this list. Let me choose prayer. And you can see prayer is inserted in cell C6. If you go to cell C7, you will find the drop down icon next to the cell. If you click on this drop down icon, you can choose the task accordingly. In this way, you can use data validation to quickly complete your weekly calendar. In the first example, I have created a weekly calendar for the entire week. However, if you want to proceed on a daily basis, then you can do that too. I have created the structure of your calendar. Here we have the time, 
where I have inserted the time of the day, the work list, here you will insert the name of your task, the starting time of your task and the ending time of your task. In the day field, I will apply the data validation feature to create a drop down list from where you can choose the day and the name of the day will be reflected as the title of the calendar. I have created this table beforehand. Now, let me apply the data validation feature to create a list with the name of the day. So select the cell G6. Now I have the names of the day in the days of the week worksheet. Here you will find the days. Now go back to the dynamic worksheet where I'll create the daily calendar. Now go to cell G6, then move to the data tab. From the data tools section, click on data validation. This opens the data validation window in the settings tab from the validation criteria in the allow field Click on this drop down icon. I'll create a list like the previous example. So, from the available options, click on the list. Then, I'll set the source of the list. So, click on the source field. After that, move to the worksheet Days of the Week and select the cells B3 to B9. Now, click on OK to create the data validation. And you can see the data validation is created. A drop down icon has appeared. If you click on this drop down icon, you'll find the name of the day. You can choose the day according to a requirement. For example, if I click on Monday, you can see cell G6 contains Monday. Now you can insert a record for the selected day. Finally, you can set the title of the worksheet. So go to cell B2. I'll create a dynamic title here that will include the name of the day from the cell G6. So in cell B2, type equal calendar for to join the cell value of cell g6 use an ampersand sign then select the cell g6 and hit enter you can see the title is created and it is a dynamic title this means the value of cell g6 will be reflected in the title in this way you can create a dynamic weekly calendar in the first two examples, I have created the weekly calendars manually. However, you can use already created Excel templates as your weekly calendar. To do so, go to the File tab, then move to the New option. Here you will find a search bar to search for your weekly calendar. You can search for any templates. You will find the suggested searches here. In my case, I will search for a weekly chore schedule. So go to the search bar and type weekly chore schedule and hit enter. Here you will find the search result. You can choose any template according to your need. In my case, I'll choose the premium weekly chore schedule. This opens the window of premium weekly chore schedule. You will find the relevant information here. To import the schedule, click on create. This opens the weekly chore schedule in a new workbook. This is the basic view of the template. Here you will find the name of the days and the corresponding dates. You can use this template right away. Alternatively, you can edit this template according to your needs. For example, to create a calendar similar to the calendars that I have created manually, I'll record the time of the day here. So select the value and type time. Then I'll insert the time 7 am. Now to quickly fill the time column, let me use the autofill feature. And you can see that the time column is filled. You can delete the unnecessary values from the home tab in the editing section. Click on the clear option and choose the option clear contents to only delete the values. Now let me clear the records. After that, I'll type some sample values. So in the cell for Monday 7 a.m., I'll type prayer, then breakfast, and you can complete your daily routine. Then you can insert the record for the next day. And in this way, you can create your weekly schedule. I have demonstrated the step-by-step -step guide for creating a weekly calendar in Excel. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your Excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our Excel blogs. Or you can share your Excel related issues in our Exceldemy forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye.